Well, hello, my VIPers. Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. So this video is for my VIPs, but I like to let everyone see what I do for my VIPs. Um, every month I send them a card kit. And this is this month's for August. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I think that people are fascinated by how this is done and I have sort of my super quick and simple way that I like to do it. It's more complicated all the extra doodads I uh, throw on there. I am using the Thinking of You. This is from one of the subscription card kits. You get a stamp set and it comes in this little bag and there are always really good sentiments in that subscription card kit from Close to My Heart. This is a stamp of the month that was from 2019 and this A Little Hello to Brighten Your Day is one of my favorite stamps off of there and I'm also using For You From My Heart and I am using this butterfly, the die and the stamp. I just love butterflies, you know that about me. I have some stitched circles from my stash and some stitched hearts from my stash. The stitched hearts were close to my heart, but they are long since gone. I'm using some lemonade ink, glacier ink, plain old black ink. We'll hope that works. And your card kit will include... This is a piece of 8x8 cardstock. This is mint. This is retired. So this project is basically a stash buster for me. A harbor heart, got a couple of uh, mint hearts, that butterfly, a stitched circle, some triangle pieces, and this is paper that is retired. Um, I don't even remember what it was called, but it was from last year. A couple more pieces of the mint, and let's get going. This is how I'm going to make that me mechanism. What I like to do, I fold it in half, and use your bone folder, edge of a block, whatever you have. I'm guessing most of my VIPers have a bone folder because they're serious card makers. Fold it in half the other way, so you've got it like a cross in there, just like that. Now we're going to go from corner to corner. So we're going to take this corner and match it up on the edge just like that. And I usually concentrate on one side at a time and just move that paper Yours will come pre-folded because otherwise it won't fit in an envelope to mail it. So now I've done it in one direction. What I need to do now is go in the opposite direction along that diagonal fold. So just like that. And you kind of get it going. Just manipulate it so that, that meets. So you're starting out like this. So you're looking at it as a diamond, sort of. You want to push in those and then you want to gently push down the top and again go over it with your bone folder. So again what we do is we fold it in half Open it up, fold it in half again, open it up, fold it on the diagonal, crease that fold, open it up, and fold back in the other direction, and then you open it up, and you're, you're pushing in on that center point, which causes the fun fold to occur. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the, the proper name is. I'm sure there's something. I just don't know what it is. 
Okay. Discovered I was missing a piece. Had to go find a piece. Gonna take this big square pattern piece and we're going to stick it on the top. There should be a margin all the way around. And we've got these two pieces which are for the inside. Right now I think I'm going to go ahead and do all of my stamping while I am thinking of it. I believe I stamped everything inside in black. So black will be what I'm using here. So I need to stamp this thinking of you. Just like that. I need to do the butterfly. Now for the butterfly, I think I am going to, I'm going to grab out that foamy piece. As each of our stamp sets comes with this little piece of foam. And it just gives a nice little amount of cushion which helps your images to stamp better. Get my head over it, sorry. Get that pushed down. So that ink transfers. Ooh, very nice. A nice butterfly. Okay, next I need to do this a little hello to brighten your day. And I'm gonna put it here. Oh, I want to make sure though, as I'm looking at this, you want to make sure that you're using the opposite side. So if you've got the white color on in the middle, inside, when in the fold, you should be using the light side. You know what I mean. Let me try to say that again. You're either going to have the dark side or the light side. On the inside of your fold, you should use the opposite side with these little pieces so that it gives you a little, a little um, color variation there. I think it looks nice for layering. And same here, I'm going to flip that over. For you from mine. Just like that. That should end the black ink. I do want to take, I'm using some glacier. You could use glacier, you could use ink, ink, or whatever color you have that you want to use if inking is your thing. I did not ink edges on the kit. Not everyone likes that look. So I left it clean. And plain looks fine too. Lemonade I'm going to use on the triangle pieces for the inside. So I'm just going along here. You want two of each side of the pattern. Two different patterns. There are choices. You can flip them around until you get two patterns that you like, that you think look nice together. And you just swipe in that paper across there. The other thing I need to do, got a big old ink pad here. You can see I missed doing the edges, so I'm just going to do a little, just like that in place. Just getting a little ink on there because I like how that looks. Kind of messy. So then I'm going to put a little of the, the laminate on there and a little bit of the glacier. And I think your butterflies come pre-painted. And honestly I did this so long ago I don't even know if this is how I did it. But this is how I'm doing it today. I am going to take my shimmer brush and use it as a paintbrush. Pull in some of that uh, lemonade. I'm going to 
hit the middle here with some glacier and then a little more of the glacier on the edges. I may have in their samples used distressing. I, I don't remember. I did this a month ago. And I'm just getting around to being able to record. So you know how that goes. Time gets away from you. taking a little of that yellow and I'm just kind of blending it out so you get that little bit of green you get that bonus color and then I'm just gonna wipe this off on a piece of paper Oop, got a piece over to the side and just wipe it off on a piece of paper till it goes clear and then this I don't need anymore I don't think I need the stamp pads now it's it's assembly time I've got my this one in so I can refer to it. I'm going to be a staker. Put a little glue on the heart. And that goes over quite a ways. And put glue on the back of the thinking of you. butterfly I'm going to bend up the wings a little bit and I'm just putting glue under where the body would be on the butterfly so that the wings can kind of float and it's going to stay there and I'm going to flip this bad boy open and flip this one open and start putting on my pieces of paper on the inside This is a little more of an involved card, but I just think they're fun. I did one like this for my son and his wife for their baby shower, and he sat up there opening and closing and opening and closing the card. <laughs> so I know my son enjoyed it. I don't know if my, my daughter-in-law even noticed. <laughs> She's busy, busy making a baby. And here you do opposites, so you can see I have the opposite patterns. And that's what you want to do. I think that's what makes it fun on the inside. There we go. Just like that. One more. And you can use tape runner for this part if that floats your boat. It's all good. I just had the glue going and I figured I might as well just use it while it's open. And then I put a heart on the bottom here, but you could put them on the top. I think they'll show up better on the top on the less busy pattern. But that is, of course, personal preference. You can do whatever you want. And here's the card. There you go. Open. sort of an explosion card kind of fun I hope you enjoy your VIP club card kit for the month of August thank you so much for your business for stopping by have a blessed crafty day